Hi, everybody. It's me, Mrs. Portland. Okay, I've been hearing a lot of shit tonight about me and my family. I wanted to come on here and completely open up because I just can't hide it anymore. I am married. I do have a child. He's 18. But he was taken away from me and my husband when he was nine months old. Just due to medical issues. It's a long story. Our son was born very violently ill. At nine months, he became extremely ill. I had my son rushed to the hospital by a paramedic unit. And I got reported on by the main nurse in the pediatric ward. I had the state called on me. I was with my son in his hospital room. He had IVs hooked up to both of his little wrists, and I was rocking him in his rocking chair. The state came in his room, and busy had to tell me that he had to be taken into medical protective custody. <laughs> they had to physically fight me and take my son out of my arms and tell me I would never see my son again. <laughs> Since then, I have had ongoing issues with bipolar and suicidal ideology. I've never tried to harm myself, but I have thought about it so many times because of so many people involved. <laughs> My son is in an excellent state medical care home. We do get frequent visits with him, like on holidays, his birthday, and off and on during the summer. The medical care home he's in is with excellent people, and they have offered us through the years to have open visitation with him. So we do visit him frequently. But yet, physically, he has not been with us, living-wise, since he was nine months old. <laughs> my son was taken away out of my arms when he was nine months old. <laughs> I am so tired of people going real life on me. <laughs> It's like people just don't care about somebody else's feelings and what I have been put through or my husband and what he's been put through. <laughs> I just wish people would stop listening to crap. I try so hard to keep it a secret and not share my open life with anybody. But due to all the shit that I'm hearing, I decided to come forward. And open up completely. <laughs> but I do have a child. He is 18 and very medically challenged. But yet my husband and I are allowed to see him. We Skype him when he's not with us. We are allowed open phone calls with him. So this is where our life is at. And yes, I have thought about just not existing in life. And I've already had the cops called on me three times last month because of somebody else's stupidity. It's because I continue to be pushed over the edge. And that's why I keep making videos and telling everybody to just please leave me and my family alone. Haven't we suffered enough? My God, what if this happened to you? What if your child was taken away from you? <laughs> All I ever wanted was a positive place to come on YouTube, make my channel, and do something positive with my life. But every time I try... People just throw shit at me and knock me down and knock me down. And now I'm the worst hated person on YouTube. Well, I just hope that you're all happy that you finally forced my problem.
private life into the open. <laughs> I am on medication. I am in mental health counseling and have been since the end of October when all this happened, especially with case discussion. She is the one that mass reported me. And since then, I have tried to stay with getting help. And again, I am in counseling. I am on medication. But yeah, I'm still suffering. And people out there just don't seem to care. <laughs> well, I just hope everybody's happy now about where my life actually stands. So when it came to Christmas, again, we appreciate the help and the gifts because our son was here Christmas Day with us. <laughs> we get him on holidays and his birthday and again off and on during the summer. So the state is very heavily involved, but due to the situation at hand, we are allowed open visitation with him. And I'm in contact with the state frequently, at least every week. And they keep me updated on what's going on with him, like his schooling, his medical issues, and so forth. So I'm very fortunate for that. <laughs> I've been through so much. So now I'm asking everybody, please just get off my back and leave me and my family alone. Please. Just leave us alone and go about your own goddamn fucking life. And I'm to the point where I'm going to say this. Fuck you all. I am so done. I thought I had people that cared. But apparently there are nothing but a bunch of two-faced son of a bitches. And again, I just hope you're fucking happy.